Good morning. What's up, Internet? I'm Christian Cordero, and this is the 734 from WCCO. Just got to fix my little earpiece here. We know most of you are on your way to work or about to head out the door, so let's get you started. First things first with today's weather. Clouds again. Pavement will be a little bit wet. We had some a uh, whole lot of rain overnight, and it's going to come back, we're told from Katie Steiner, after 1 p.m. today. So if you're trying to get out, maybe go for a run, it's probably a good time to do that before 1 p.m. noon. A little, little lunch break would be nice. And then uh, get your Netflix going or watch CCO later this afternoon because it's going to be raining most likely. All right, did this wake you up overnight? Our photographer, Joel Thurston, Joel Cam, if you will, that's his uh, trade name in this biz. He got these, these amazing shots of that lightning that you just saw in St. Louis Park overnight. Those storms rolled in around 2 a.m. and it just really lit up the sky. You, when you see the horizontal lightning, you know it's bad, right? That's uh, a whole lot of activity that he saw around 2.10 a.m. All right, now let's talk about this. It's debate season. The fourth Democratic presidential debate takes place tonight in Ohio. It's the largest debate yet, with 12 White House hopefuls taking the stage on the same night in Ohio. Among them, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar, and it could be a make-or-break kind of night. She's polling at the lower end of the pack. Experts say Klobuchar needs to make a splash tonight in order to keep voters and donors interested in her message. So we want to put this in your hands. What are you hoping to see from Senator Klobuchar tonight? What will make her stand out? What has she not done yet? She tries to play down the middle. Is that the message that resonates with you personally? Do you want her to lean into any one issue more than any others? What do you think those watching on Facebook? Leave a comment right here and we'll get through a few of those in a moment. Let's get to the news this morning, though, because a lot has happened. Well, since the last Democratic debate, quite frankly, it's the first debate since Congress opened an impeachment inquiry to President Trump. And the center of the stage will be former Vice President Joe Biden. He only recently came out in favor of impeachment. Next to him will be Elizabeth Warren, who's gaining around on Biden in some national polls. It's also the first big event for Bernie Sanders, so a whole lot going on. This, of course, is the first event since his heart attack a couple weeks ago. A couple reminders on this October 15th, like it or not, winter is coming. Today, Minnesota's cold weather rule goes into effect. It protects residential customers from having their natural gas turned off if they have trouble paying their bill. The rule is in effect until April 15th. That's just one more month of winter left on April 15th, isn't it? Another reminder, your property taxes are due today. Sorry, I'm just the messenger. Today marks one year since Jamie Kloss was kidnapped. Can you believe it has been one year since that and, of course, her parents' murder as well? Jamie escaped after being held captive for 88 days. Her family's attorney shared a message from Jamie where she thanked everyone for all the kindness and concern that people showed from all over the country. Jamie says she's been very happy to be home and uh, getting back to enjoying the th activities that she loves. A former Texas police officer has now been charged with murder. Fort Worth police say Aaron Dean has resigned. The chief said he would have been fired if he didn't quit. Investigators say he shot and killed a ten, uh, at Tanya Jefferson, a black woman inside her home uh, Saturday morning. The police chief said body cam video shows no justification for the use of deadly force against Jefferson. Two earthquakes hit near San Francisco right around bedtime last night. Bruh! <laughs> Y'all felt that? Yeah, thousands of people did, in fact, feel that in the Bay Area. Uh, many posting around about it on social media. The U.S. Geological Survey says the 4.5 magnitude quake hit around 1030 Pacific time. A smaller 2.5 magnitude earthquake hit shortly after. No injuries have been reported. A Twin Cities drive-in owner is uh, in the battle of his life, but his friends are rallying behind him. 57-year-old Jim Wagner's health has steadily declined since his cancer diagnosis a year ago. You may have been to Wagner's drive-in in Brooklyn Park every Monday night. There's a cruise in where classic cars of all kinds are put on display by a group called the Wagniters. But Jim is in the hospital battling stage four cancer. It's so aggressive because of his other medical conditions that his, his body just isn't fighting it. So it just keeps spreading. 
There's a fundraiser planned for Jim at the Palmer Lake VFW on October 27th. If you want to help, we have more information. Go to WCCO.com slash links. Panera is defending its mac and cheese after an employee revealed the cheesy secret. Yep, went there. The secret's out. Mac and cheese, it comes frozen. The worker posted a video showing her putting a frozen pack into hot water. Not long after the employee posted another tearful video saying she'd been fired. That's how that works. Panera says the meals are shipped frozen so they can leave out certain preservatives that don't meet the company's clean standards. Uh, yeah, in other food news, what do you think about this? Lay's new chip combo is a classic food pairing, grilled cheese and tomato soup chips. You don't even need the soup or the grilled cheese. You can just eat it in chip form. Perfect combo for food, uh, this comfort food, this winter weather. You should be able to find them on grocery store shelves next Monday. You have the chance to help the Como Zoo name its newest arrival. What do you think? Does this baby giraffe look more like an Elliot from E.T., a Fonzie from Happy Days, a Soda? He's a Minnesota boy, after all. Those are just three options. Stick around, and I'll have more. People at the Como Zoo can vote this Friday through Sunday on those names. Back to today's talker. Let's bring in WCCO's digital guy, Cole. Cole, what are people saying about the big debate night tonight? Uh, yeah, we've got Rebecca saying the best play is not to play. <laughs> we have, that is very Yoda. I know. Then we have Colette saying uh, she is toast. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> it's very Minnesota nice as well. And then we have Anne just saying uh, she's hoping to see Amy Klobuchar. Yeah. So. The, um, there is correlation, right, between getting your minutes in of speaking time and um, that being successful as well. And then we have Anne saying she loves mac and cheese. Okay. Well, there you go. Maybe the, maybe we should have asked about the mac and cheese. Give the people what they want. Yep. Thanks, Cole. Appreciate it. That's it for now. This is the 734 from WCCO, and most of the Twin Cities are on the go, so why not make us your place for mobile news? We'll be back here tomorrow at 734, and until then, be nice to each other out on the internet.